I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this? This ain't some Google Map review or Red Dead Redemption or any other video that I've done before. This is Minecraft. Beta? What the hell? Well, there's a reason for that. This video is going to be different because I felt like I wanted to do something I haven't done before and I haven't, you know, I haven't really done YouTube videos for that long. And I felt like maybe we could get to know each other or like you could get to know me or something like that. Lately, I've seen a lot of videos on Minecraft beta versions and I become so nostalgic to it because I used to play Minecraft when I was like 10 years old, back in 2011. And I actually started to play Minecraft during the beta. So I'm going to create a Minecraft world, what should we? It's 11 in the or in the evening, so you know I'm I'm kind of craving chocolate milk. Not gonna lie, just some random fucking number. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I don't want snow, man. Okay, this is gonna be a walking simulator. I'm just gonna find grass. Damn, I found it. <laughs> I found it straight away. Uh, I haven't really done commentary before. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This sounds pretty loud for me. Um, it's Saturday for me. My parents aren't home, which is pretty nice. It's very nice. I'm just chilling. Um, <laughs> oh God, this video, this ain't good. I don't know what to say. My other videos have been somewhat scripted or pretty scripted. Because the entire point of them have been me like reading uh, Google Map reviews out loud. So obviously it's kind of scripted and then I said my own thoughts, but it hasn't really been that deep. And my point is not going to make a deep video. Yeah, damn, I feel like this is a good video. Yeah, thank you. Dude, I'm a YouTuber now. It's springtime finally. Um, I live in I live in Sweden. And it's so strange because six months is just complete darkness and six months is just complete uh, daylight. And it's so weird because when it gets darker and darker, you kind of get used to it slowly. But then, like today, <laughs> it's just sun. I, I, ju I just walk, I, I woke up, I, I took down my curtains and I just got, I just got flashed by the sun. I think I got I, I got temporarily blind, um, but it felt pretty nice. And I kind of realized that for the last six months I haven't really had a feeling of being alive, which is strange because if you're not Scandinavian, it's di real difficult to you know relate it to what I was saying. But yeah, it's nice. I, I today I felt really alive, and I spent a lot of time outside with my dogs. And uh, right before this video, I um, oh, this is a pretty nice spot to build a house. I kind of want, so I kind of want to live with, uh, where there's a lot of trees and access to water, but I don't want this grayish green color. Not uh, not uh, not me, not the feeling. Oh, this looks immediately better. <clears throat> but I walked out and I took a. Um, I don't know if you Americans have it, Pepsi Max. It's a. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sound, sound, sound so stupid if, if you guys had it. Uh, which, I mean, it would make sense if you had. But I couldn't find any when I was in Japan. Uh, so I think my mind is just kind of. I think that's just kind of messed with my head. Um, but I went out and I was gonna take a uh, drink. And I just stood on my. Uh, uh, what, what the fuck is it called? What the hell is it called? Like a wooden deck? Uh, patio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patio. I walked out on a patio. Because it's still very cold during the night. Sometimes it's minus negative degrees. But I, I, instead of putting them in my uh, fridge, I just put them outside. And I just looked up in the sky. And if, if you don't know, the Swedish air quality is among one of the best in the world. And it was so, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just kind of realized. 
Sweeney has the best uh, air quality. No, it doesn't, but like one of the best is like a weird flex, but okay. But during nights like this, I really appreciate it because the sky was so clear. I could see a lot of stars. It's full moon, almost full moon. I'm just looking out of my window. It's so nice. I, I don't really, yeah. I, I, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I wrote down some points on what to say, what to talk about. I've already gone through all of it. This is great. I thought I had more minutes I could talk about stuff, but I don't know. Um, I really, you know, I, I didn't, I have had some plans of making some videos. Uh, I was going to make a Pal World video. I'm still working on it. I'm not really sure if it's worth putting out because I thought to myself, you know, oh my God, I gotta do it. I gotta, uh, my whole point with YouTube or the reason I'm doing it is, you know, it's a hobby. I'm very inspired by the people who, back in the days, who created YouTube videos because it was fun, you know. They didn't chase views, they didn't chase subscribers. It wasn't even a thing, you know. Sure, you could have subscribers, but the whole ads and stuff, no one chased it because it was so unheard of. I, I'm really inspired by that and I kind of thought to myself, oh, I shouldn't really make a power video because it lost like two thirds of its player base and no one is going making power videos. But I thought it was funny, you know. So, oh, black spike. I think it was pretty funny. So I'm still probably gonna upload it, upload it because at the end of the day, the reason I'm doing it is for myself and hopefully build a small community. It's always been a dream of mine since I was a kid and you know, I'm 22 now. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my God, why do I get so many lag spikes? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I created my YouTube video back, my YouTube channel back in 2014, April 2014. In two months, it's been 10 years. I, I, plan, I planned on making YouTube videos for 10 years. And just recently, I actually started to do it. Started to do it. It's so weird speaking in English. I I spoke a lot of English in my life. I went to an international class or program, and around this time a year ago, I was going on my exchange year to Japan, and there I spoke a lot of English and Japanese. You know. My Japanese sucks, but. I spoke a lot of English, at least. And I realized that if I don't speak English for a time, my, I, I can't speak. You, you should see me, I, take, I do a lot of takes in my other videos where I've talked. It's so cringe when I look at it, I'm like, damn. I, can't, I just, for some reason, lose the ability to speak. It's not only English, it's Swedish too. <laughs> just, there are some days I just can't speak. And I just shut up. Is this video good? I can't tell. <laughs> it's just me walking around. I'm trying to find a spot, okay? I'm trying to find a spot. It's, it's, it might be a walking simulator. I'm just talking into my screen. No one's gonna watch this, but it doesn't matter. I enjoy talking. Perhaps I'm schizophrenic <laughs> or something. I don't fucking know. Ah, I, I should build a house somewhere. You know what? I think, I think this is pretty. And the sun is going down. That ain't good. That ain't good. We gotta we got build a house, man. I think, unironically, the older versions of beta were much more difficult than today. Even though you have a lot more stuff in modern Minecraft versions, it's kind of easy to survive, I think. I rushed zombie hordes with no weapons and just push them back you can just because you can sprint right you can just avoid danger you can just run away from danger you can't really do that in beta up at least until the adventure update 1.8 i think i'm playing beta 1.6.6 i was going to play on 1.7 but i don't know i kind of missed the old color palette and i felt too gray from 1.7 Perhaps I just got a, a bad spawn, that's probably it. Um, 
Oh my god, do you remember that? Punching sheep and it just fell out. It just exploded out of them. It's like Yeah. Never mind. I don't have a I don't have a way to compare it. I think this is a super pretty view. I can hear a skeleton. Uh, I want to build my house here. Or do I? I mean, I do, but I, I'm not sure if I want to build it right here, you know. Maybe I should build up here. It's gonna be more difficult to build because it's not as flat. But sometimes it makes it more pretty, I think. It's not as perfect. And sometimes I think <clears throat> the less perfect something is, it's prettier. Sometimes. It's like how some things can be synergetic when they're asymmetri asymmetric or something. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. I'm singing at the worst table in my life. I, I, I'm not sure if I said it. Oh shit! Okay, it's kind of it's it's. Oh my god! I remember. It's getting dark. Back in the days, I, w I used to be super scared of the dark. <laughs> I just upload. I just, I just downloaded this version, and instantly I get a Vietnam flashback. Oh no! Oh no! The dark is coming. The dark is coming. Quick! Oh lord! I'm actually, I'm actually sweating. Ah! Uh. Nah. What am I doing? Okay. Sleep. Sleep. Oh. Okay. That might have been an older version. I remember back in the days, if you didn't close door your doors or you just slept outside, you would just get visited by a fucking monster in the middle of the night. Good thing that didn't happen. I would probably have died. Okay, back to the building. Um, I uh, anyways, what I was talking, I'm going to say was that uh, I said that I li I live with my parents. I think I think I said that I live with my parents, uh, which is weird because ever since 2021, I moved out of my house, my, my parents' house. Um, I lived with my girlfriend for a while, then I moved back home for like a month, then I moved to Stockholm, which is very far away from me, to go to university and. I had mixed feelings of my time living there. Obviously, you know, I've I've lo I've grown to love Stockholm. It's a much bigger city than I'm used to. I live in the countryside, but you know, it's it's the I don't know, just a city very close to me. It's it's uh, it's uh, 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 English ah. Uh. I live under country, but still not on the countryside because. Yeah, great video of you, thank you. I know, I'm a, I'm a, are you YouTuber? Yes, I am. Anyway, uh, I live with my parents now. Uh, I'm When I came home from Japan, I lived with my girlfriend for a long time. Um, for like four or five months. And uh, then I got the news like three weeks ago. 26th of January, it's 17th of February, yeah, okay, so almost a month ago, I got the news, the unfortunate news, that my childhood dog um, uh, had cancer, so, and he had, it's expected he would live to 6 to 12 weeks, uh, it made me super sad, I'm still sad about it, 
but I decided, you know what, during his last time on Earth, I want to be here, and I want to be here during his last time, the, the little time he has left. And I had to say, it was I'm very, I'm very happy about that choice. Um, it's very nice to see that he obviously I know he doesn't. Okay, it's not obvious, but he's not suffering, and that's the most important part. Um, my parents said that when they, they if they notice that he's suffering or can't really live normally, they've decided you know they they don't want him to suffer. So, which is nice, but it's super nice to see that you, you can't really notice that he's sick. Which is very nice to me, for me at least. It's a nice feeling to see that, okay, he's not suffering. He's just the same normal dog. Happy, gentle, and kind. Um, but it's also weird because it doesn't really fe feel like, oh, he's sick. I don't think, oh, he's sick. But another, I wouldn't say that it's like luck in the bad luck but I don't know half a year ago I started to notice okay he's growing old now he, he shows a lot of signs of being of becoming older damn I don't know where to build it's not that deep come on if you I'm just gonna build I don't care yeah mm -hmm. amazing house this is my house Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna build it here. I have no idea what or how I'm gonna build. I'm not even gonna care about building pretty. I'm just gonna build. You know? This is a complete different subject than I was talking about. Oh lord. That's something you gotta expect from me, okay? I, I can't. I go a lot of tangents. I can't really focus on one subject. I just jump all around a lot. It's, it's kind of a part of a whole package deal, you know, if you subscribe, this is what you're gonna get. Ah, oh, fuck man, I, I don't want to make the video too sad or, you know, I don't want to make it too sobby. Uh, I, I just want to change that topic, honestly. At least I'm not sad for now, but, you know, he's a happy dog. He, he's very fine, he's fine for now. Which, I mean, it's something. Anyways, as I said, I don't really care of... <clears throat> I don't care if my my house is pretty or not, because, damn, I just miss not caring. I miss not caring if my house was the best thing in the entire on the entire earth. I just want to build. I just wanna. I just <laughs> I just want to be happy. <laughs> I don't want to be a monster builder anymore. I just want to be happy. Fucking guts music playing. Ah, that's my interpretation of Berserk. It's copyright strike it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But the other day I felt like, you know, I missed the old YouTube when it wasn't the whole beastif Mr. Beastification. And I don't mean anything. I don't, I, I don't, I don't throw any shade at Mr. Beast. That's not why what I'm doing. Believe me, I think he's. I, I like his videos. It's it's enjoyable to watch, and he's very good at what he's doing. But I can't. I. I was gonna build a fucking axe. Uh. Okay. Anyways, we can just. Okay. Take advantage. Take advantage of the opportunity that arose. Uh. I think a lot of people have started to grow tired of the whole Mr. Beastification, if you want to call it like that, on YouTube. But everyone was like. Oh my god, guys, I just had 10 billion dollars and I just destroyed this hospital. Um, if you do this, you're gonna get... Yeah, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Just screaming, loud effects, stuff like that. I, I miss the old YouTube where it was more authentic. Where people were just talking and not editing as much. And I... Which is pretty... I have a mixed feeling about that because I enjoy... I love editing. I'm not good at editing. I think the Dark Souls video I did was very fun, or the Red Dead video I did. Oh lord, it was the like the most recent Red Dead. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, like Arthur Morgan, G 
getting drunk kidnaps a cold kid or something. I don't know, something like that. I thought it was so funny to edit that video. I enjoyed it. Oh, it's obligate. It's mandatory, you know, opening your can. Oh, damn. Just bussing. I'm the only guy on earth who still says bussing. Oh, black spike. I don't know why I get a lot of black spikes. My computer is good, and this is an old version of mine. Over 10 years old, and I still get leg frames. Damn. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Authent authent ugh, authenticity on YouTube. Um, but I feel like a lot of people like me have kind of grown tired of it. You just want to see more authenticity from YouTube creators. And when I, when I decided to make videos, back when I made my first video, I think it was like a Lego Star Wars video, I had a lot of plans to make a lot of videos and I had scripts ready and stuff like that. It's not like my videos are entirely scripted, that's not what I'm saying. But obviously there were parts I wanted to keep or, you know, stuff, English really speaker nerf but i've always had a, thought, a feeling of if i want to make youtube videos it's because i enjoy it not because i want to chase numbers or anything and i don't think i have what it takes to become a big youtuber and i'm totally fine with that because it's not my it's not my goal if that would happen obviously i would be happy but it's not like that's something i need or something I crave. If it happens, I would be happy, you know. Obviously, it's, I, I would feel honored. Damn, my feeling, you only have 20 subscribers. Why are you talking about that? Shh, a man can dream, okay? I'm just joking. But there's something in that. I just, as I said, this video, I want this video to be more about you guys getting to know me. And it's so weird. You guys, you know, when, when I look at the statistics in on my YouTube videos, I have a lot of returning viewers, but you guys do not subscribe to me. What the hell? What did I do? What did I do wrong? I mean, the last video I did, you guys did not like, or I don't know, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confused because it has a like ten percent click click ratio, or what the fuck it's called, you know, click rates. So 10% of people who get it in the recommendations, they look at the video. And over 60% of them look throughout the entire video. Which means on paper, it was a good video. Pe you guys liked it. But it only has like 70 views. No, 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 no like 40 views. Like, bro. What the hell? Sorry, I didn't mean to come off as ungrateful. Imagine 40 people in a room looking at what you've done it's still to me it's a very large number but it's just that out of all the videos i've done my point was that out of all the videos i've done that seemed like on paper the video people enjoy the most <laughs> but i i don't know it's the least watched video <clears throat> i experimented with ai uh, ai voice I, was, I thought it was funny, but I don't think the video was well executed, which is unfortunate. I thought I can... Oh, whoa! John Wick. Exactly. He died by my mere presence. Oh, damn. The old cave noises. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if it's only me and my friends, but when I was younger, a lot younger, when I played, when this version was around, and a little bit afterwards, back during the time when no one really knew that much of Minecraft and people believed in Herobrine and stuff, by the way, I was one of those kids. No, you know, I didn't believe in Herobrine, <laughs> but I lied to my friends that I've wit that I've seen Herobrine. I, I, I lied so much about it that I I eventually just believed in my own lies. It was so weird. Um, 
But what I was going to say was that is that there's a black cloud sometimes like like that's around that size. Well, around that size, just a black cloud. I don't remember who said it, but someone of out of my friends told me that. Oh, if you have that black cloud, it's a sign that Herobrine is in your world. And I was like, oh shit, oh fuck, he's here to punish me for lying. No, but seriously, I shat my pants. I thought I believed in it for three years, which is super embarrassing because I was like 13 or 14. Where I was like, you know what? That's not a sign of Herobrine. God. I used to be so damn dumb. Okay, I didn't believe in Hero Brian, but it was more like it was more about me believing or me coming to realization like hey, I remember him telling me that. That's not true. Like three years later. <laughs> Haven't been in contact for two years. Damn, it's looking good. Oh yeah. I remember. I missed this. Even though I like the different, well, different kinds of. Um, even though I like the different kinds of wood, in um, modern versions of Minecraft, I still miss being able to chop down birch wood and get normal oak. I was telling myself I was just building because of the fun of it, not because it was pretty, but damn, this a this is ugly. Man. I'm gonna edit this video a little bit, not as hard as the other one other ones. Uh, so if if I've all the edits I've done in this video are probably just me clipping some things. It's because when I record or when I play or just do something, I'm just quiet. I say nothing at all. So if you wonder what I've done, why, why I edited or clipped something, that's the reason. I'm, I'm just quiet. Nothing is happening. And, you know, I know people have better things to do than watching a game. <laughs> just be, being quiet and breathing into his microphone. But maybe you guys like when men breathe into the microphone. Oh. I can't wanna... Oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to build houses like this, with log roofs. I um... Uh, okay. Okay, it's starting to shape up a little bit, but <clears throat> which version did you guys start to play Minecraft? I'm actually curious. I I don't remember the version I played, but it was it was a little bit before this version. But I'm not that entirely sure. It was around this time, beta 1.7. Uh, I remember my brother he he got the cracked version, you know, Minecraft Online. Yeah, I was around that time. I'm a very around. I remember me playing on my cousin's computer, I think. Or someone's computer. Alpha. But when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to buy anything online. Which nowadays, when I'm like technically an adult, I understand 100% why my parents didn't allow me to buy things. I would buy this worst or dumbest thing like Robux, Movie Star Planet coins, VIP on shitty games like Club Penguin. I didn't play Club Penguin, but you know, stuff like that. I would, I would, I would actually bankrupt my family. But, this deserves me, annoys me, the Um, <clears throat> yeah, but then my brother bought Michael for me back in 2011, I don't know. What I do know, is that I was so confused because the last time I played Minecraft, it was like 1.7. And then a week later, when my brother actually bought me Minecraft for Christmas present, it was just 1.8. I, I remember I built my first kind of survival house in in a village. There were no villagers, but I built it in a vill villager. And 
I still have so clear memories of that house. I don't know why. And then my, I think my first house was a glowstone house. It was a huge glowstone house. Um, super ugly. But you know, you know how it is. Except it wasn't ugly because I was the one who built it and everything I do is perfect. You know how it is. Don't hate me, hate the game. Oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. So this house is not that pretty, but I think it has a very nice feeling to it. Okay, this annoys me a lot. I can't, I can't let that be like that. What was my question again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which version do you guys start to play Minecraft? So, as I said, I go on random tangents all the time. <laughs> what is this house, man? I'm probably gonna change this to cobblestone. Yeah, amazing. It's super cozy though. It's something about old Minecraft that makes houses like this much cozier. Even though if I replicate this house in modern day Minecraft, it's much more cozier now in this version than in modern version. And don't get me wrong, I, I love I love some versions of new my like modern Minecraft. There's a lot of things I like. But I'm more of a I don't really play vanilla Minecraft that much. I play a lot of uh, modern Minecraft. And there's a there's a mod pack that I played a lot in September and October last year. Uh, Darncraft, it's a mixture of like, it's kind of a Dark Souls kind of game uh, with bosses and stuff like that, but it also has the create mod. It's so fun. It's honestly so fun. I haven't had that fun in Minecraft for years. Um, and that's on like 1.19, so it's it's a modern version. It's like the last, uh, the most recent version, I think. Or is it 1.20 now, maybe? I think it's 1.20. Uh, is there anything? Is there something you guys miss about older Minecraft, or something you don't like about new Minecraft? Um, obviously, it's the mob mob vote. It's horrible. I think they said they're not gonna continue with that. Thank God. Ah, uh, sorry. Mandatory drink. Drinking pause. I don't know. I just realized this entire video have been me walking around this area. I don't really know what else to do. I need torches. That's my dog. Oh.